Alright guys, here we are in the middle of the forest. Next to a empty animal pen. With a staircase leading to the bowels of the earth. Um, I'm getting a little tired of working on the village. Especially considering that the zombies see through the door. Unexpected. What can you do? Any... Who? So, I decided to work on another project. What I did is, if you guys remember that skeleton spawner we found, I went ahead and transformed it into an XP farm. We also have a reed farm. We're going to need a wheat farm. And we have the most Stubborn, there we go, stubborn is a good word for him. Melon, in the worm. So, game plan time. First off, look, oh, that's good stuff. Whew, yeah. Um, melon is for the potions. Potions, uh, splash potions of healing. Glistening melon, golding, it's gunpowder. Another war. Probably should make another war for him. too. So, we wait for them to accumulate, we throw a potion, they all die once, make a wonderful noise, all the experience comes flowing at me like crazy. Um, so it's a fairly efficient farm, which brings its own set of problems, mainly the fact that I hit level 30 pretty quick, quicker than I need to. You know, yeah, first world problems, right? So, the mission is, we're going to have an enchanting area over here somewhere, maybe? Maybe a little bit further. I don't know. Somewhere in this area, probably. Um, and then the point of the sugar cane and the animal, animal pen, which is going to be cows, is we're going to start enchanting books. So, we're going to enchant some books. And we're going to have a bunch of great level 30 enchanted books. Our first one, our... Proof of concept, I'm breaking three. Oh, terrible, terrible. Couldn't have gone much worse. Yeah. Sometimes you get a little bit too close to the skeletons and they try to shoot you and then they shoot each other and then it's just skeleton genocide in there. But, um, this works really well because I think right here is like eight blocks away from the spawner, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, they will keep spawning even like my, uh, all the way out here. So, I learned my lesson from my zombie spawner, you cannot have them go that far away from the spawner. They just, it doesn't work, it's not efficient. So that's the game plan right now. In other news, Almost all of my armor is broken except for my top two pieces. My feather falling boots are almost dead. I'm not too concerned. Feather falling two is not exactly, you know, fantastic. Anyhow, without further ado, let's go ahead and. Splash potion of health, go! Yeah. So. Woo. Lost some of one all the way back there. There we go. 18 bones. No bows and arrows that time. But yeah, it, it's, a, it's a good farm. But that's the mission right now. We're going to put a couple more farms in here and make this sort of like a little self sustaining area. And it's going to be fantastic. Oh! Alright, I'll be back when I get a little bit more set up. Alright, we're a little bit in better state here. Um, I realized like an idiot the reason the melon wouldn't grow because it wouldn't grow on anything but dirt. That's fixed, got the wheat growing. Um, got a full enchanting set up, got a anvil that's almost dead. As you can see, we've had to put in a couple more chests. Um, that's because this grinder here um, 
is efficient. It's very efficient. In the time it took me to fix all of this up, um, oh, I'm I'm drunk. Um, this is the bows and arrows. Um, and from here up, they're all 100%. So I've been combining and repairing them. Bones, arrows, armor. Yeah. Yeah, this, it, it works. It works very well. I don't think I'm going to worry too much about... Uh, any of these things for a while. The bones are great because now I don't have to worry about farming at all. I can just, you know, hammer it out with some bone meal. Bone meal. Sorry. But, um, yeah, it's almost amusing and so efficient. Alright, guys, we hit level 30. Here's our first official, official, official zombie spawner grinder, zombie skeleton spawner grinder book enchantment. I'm always so nervous right before an enchantment. Might four. Could have went better. Oh well. Alright, guys, we got about a one and a quarter level. And we have three. We're looking at around four and a three or six skeletons in there, so. Shot and signs of slowing. Fix some bows while we're waiting. Forty two. Still going. <laughs> And more goodies than I know what to do. Alright, another level 30. Here we go. Looting two. Two's not terrible. It's just yeah. could be better. Always be better. All right. All right. So, oh my, it's choppy. I'm traveling through this tunnel that I dug a while ago to link uh, the stronghold and my home base. Uh, I've gone through digging out all the iron that I missed. I also last time I came through here went through and found several pockets of uh, diamond that I missed. I actually had like 18 diamond. Plenty of redstone, coal. Wow. We're just chugging, aren't we? Anywho. Um, wow. It's really bad. The, the reason for this excursion is that back at the spot skeleton spawner. I keep calling it a spider spawner for some reason. Uh, the anvil broke. So I figure I head back this way. Grab some iron. Figure grab some iron on the way. 
and also to grab some soul sand. That way it'll be basically self-sufficient minus the gold required for the potions. But, you know, <clears throat> if the game was 100% automated, it wouldn't be fun to play anymore, would it? Uh, I've got about six books or so enchanted, all level 30s. Um, nothing mind-blowing yet. Unfortunately. Uh, I keep helping, hoping for Silk Touch. I had that one Silk Touch pick the one time. And I don't remember how it got lost. I remember it got lost. I mean, obviously I don't have it anymore, but... Um, Silk Touch is just something nice to have around. It's dark outside. So... That is the latest. We're heading home. And we're going to grab some soul sand. We're going to grab some iron. Take a nap. You can only sleep tonight. Don't forget that. Once we actually have a surplus of food. Also, I'm getting these really weird lighting glitches. I don't know what the deal with that is. It's annoying, though. I will, I will say that it's annoying. It didn't happen before. Alright. So that's one, two, three. Here's our arrow stash right now. Um, bones, random armor, these are random junk, random junk, bows and arrows. Yeah. I don't think we're going to have any problem anytime soon with uh, that kind of stuff. So we're going to go over here. So let's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh well. It's gonna be a weird shape, but what can you do? Should have grabbed a couple more. Now put some decorative back there in the corner. Perhaps. I don't know. So there we go. We're pretty much self-sufficient now. And what I wanted to check is... There we go. There's my power four bow. How much would it cost? And would it be worth it to combine this power four punch two with this power four? Power five punch two. It's 35. That would be a nice bow, though. I also think I need to change this right here to glass. So I can see up there. So. Yeah, that's the latest right now. I think, I think, I think that perhaps we should go do some work on the village, maybe? This is the incinerator. I think I need to incinerate flows in the water down to a lava and there we go part of me hates doing that part of me says you know well you, know, you should just find another storage spot for it but I mean just dealing with the drops anymore 
let's become uh, an exercise in frustration every time that I have to uh, every time I, th I kill them off it's just crazy ridiculous yeah we don't need any of this right now that's a bad spot for a torch All right, then I'm going to go AFK here for a little bit, grind out a couple more levels, and then we're going to head back to the village. Step number one, first thing I want to do is we need to work on getting this grass spread over here. I swear, if I had a silk touch pick, my life would be exponentially better. It really would. Alright, so... So that okay. <laughs> Is it really that terrible to be able to see the torch on top here? I think it looks a lot better. We'll see if it bothers me. I don't think it's going to bother me. I have been wrong about these things in the past, though. Alright. No crafting benches in here? Crafting bench. Why do I have a crafting bench all the way down there where I don't need it? But none... See if I regret this. Okay. Uh. So I'm thinking uh. this is basically uh, going to be a road. Bigger house right here, maybe a couple trees over in this area, and then down the hill, and we'll have more houses down this way. Um, I fear that we're going to have to. Well, oh, no, we, we should be fine. I think that 
our villagers aren't going to breed. I don't think there's ever going to be enough houses really to get it populated the way I want it populated. But... <laughs> Something is this, this is like the house that you're going to see when you walk in. in and it's be at the end of Main Street. I think like, it's going to be a big house. It needs to be a little bit fancier than the shacks we've been building. So. you like the, the mayor's house is what it's going to be. Thanks for coming to see what's going on. Extend the road out. Say three more blocks this way. And this is where the house is going to start. What kind of stuff do we got on this? We got some jungle wood. I really like how the um, achievements all just reset each other themselves randomly. Uh -huh. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. Not really, though. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright. steps leading up to the house. Like I said, it's going to be fancy. No. There we go. That's the ticket. I like it already. And then... Yeah, you'd figure it'd have more sandstone. Or more sand, rather. Burp, burp. Indeed. I don't think I'm not sure. As soon as I put that down, I knew. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking this house is going to be made out of birch. Why? I don't know. It just seems like the thing to do. Let's gather some birch, gather some sleep, and move back. Alright, as you can see, I got some work done. Um, this is what it looks like so far. We're not going to have any windows in the back because I'm going to attempt. Man, I just keep throwing everything. To get. Perfect! <laughs> Never mind, I'm not going to attempt. I accomplished a decent sized centered picture. 
the stairs go? I only got... Mm, I need some more stairs. I need more stairs. Pew, pew, pew. What do I need to have? No. Where's my dirt? Go. It's gonna be like a little desk right there, and I'm thinking we're probably going to have a mine cart right here, here, and put a villager in there, and he'll be the mayor. Makes sense to you? Makes sense to me. I think it could be pretty cool. First things first. Don't think I needed that many. We'll find out. How about that? I almost got them all just doing that. Didn't seem right, but yeah. There we go. Not quite as lucky that time. All right, so I've already had some slabs. Excellent. I should have left that there. Then boom, boom. I think that's right. Hmm, I don't know if that's going to work or not. No, it won't. I need to have dirt placed. There? No, that's not right either. Wonder if. Hey, there we go. All right, here we go. Got our. This side, boom, boom. I think it could work. I think it looks a little fancy, right? Wonder if it needs to come down one more. There. Yep, I think I like that better. Hmm. hmm. Four diamonds for now. That's a crazy trade. You should be embarrassed by yourself. Villager whose name I haven't decided on yet. Alright, alright, alright. So... Back here it would go... Considering. Wonder if it would look better. 
Give me a minute. You know, that actually looks really nice. I really like that. There we go. Welcome to the mayor's house, or the mayor's office at least. He doesn't really, <laughs> there's not really any place in there to uh, live. Bottom here, so let's get that time again, guys. Let's get to figure out to do right up here, which I think probably we can just. I don't think that needs to be anything fancy. Perfect. I really like how that turned out. Oh my. Oh my. It's happening. Herbert's not receptive though. The miracle of life is about to begin. Our little village is growing. Maybe. Come on, guys. Maybe not. I was excited for a moment. I thought maybe baby villager. But it looks like it's for not. No, nothing. Irregardless, guys, we got ourselves some uh, enchanted books. We got the zombie skeleton grinder. Ugh, why do I keep messing up? The skeleton grinder. All set up and ready to go, and it's highly successful. We've got the mayor's house built. Then we got at least one of our villagers is receptive to making more villagers. So we're going to go ahead and call that a day right there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.